guys, welcome to the 180 Drum Challenge. In today's lesson, as you can tell, again, Marcus can blaze this idea around the drum set. We're having a blast talking about just the simple sticking, right, left, left. But then it's not so simple when we start to mess with the subdivision and move it all around. Tell us about this lesson, man. Uh, this, is, um, this is one that I, again, grew up listening to uh, a bunch of different cats playing and listening to how they would utilize their left hand yeah. um, with these triplet subdivisions. Who's an example? Um, man, classic Buddy Rich, man. Buddy Rich. I, don't, I don't think anybody can deny his left hand when it comes to particularly this exercise. Um, and but but not even just him, but man, Tony Williams and Elvin and and Art Blakey, um, all of these jazz greats, because this is kind of where this type of thing I feel was coined okay. um, in this in this particular style of playing jazz um, because jazz is based on the triplet and so a lot of times guys would um, you know do the subdivision on a snare that this triplet thing uh, to kind of fill in these gaps for example uh, you listen to seven steps to heaven um, and uh, not no excuse me not seven steps to heaven freedom jazz dance um, you listen to Tony and he's playing um you know and so that's that particular subdividing on the, on the snare it's really cool buddy would do that stuff um, and even at the drummers today they do that on you know hip hop grooves they do the subdividing uh I mean, I add a third third hit in there, which is definitely hard oh, to do yeah, to get tough. the side stick or something. But you can. Um, What's something you could do to develop that? Even just that little idea right there, where you develop that accent. Uh, slow. Yeah. So, so you have it in triplet form. Then you can, then we'll uh, maybe go into maybe a 16th pattern. Okay. So, you may think of, you may think of this more so as a 3-4 or 6-4 figure because you have these three groupings and it comes back on one. So right. maybe think of it as uh, either 3-4, 6-4, 6 eight, whatever. So you have one, two. These are all like grooves you can play utilizing this where it it can be a musical thing and not just a technical thing. Yeah. But you have to develop the technique and the, tech, the technical stuff to, to get to the musicality and, and, and you know, so that you can play it how you hear it. Right. Music. Yeah. Um, and there's and, an example of that in this lesson. Yeah. Right on the, uh, yeah, we'll be we'll be teaching on that um, actually. Um, and, and and then you have one where it's uh, six tuplets. It's a little bit faster, uh, same tempo, um, just to get a little, and it'll start to hurt your forearms. And and just a note, I, I'll probably in one of the exercises switch from traditional to match grip. Okay. Uh, because, um, I mean, I tend to play traditional grip a lot, but match grip, because it utilizes a different set of muscles and everything and but uh, and so when you're doing like right left left right right uh, right left left right left left right left left right left left you know you're using your pinky back here and just a general rule of thumb for me I tend to kind of keep my pinkies um, in action versus just kind of hanging off for me it gives a little more power and a little more control for me um, 
uh, I used to play like this, and I had a, a teacher that said, you know, maybe grip it from back here yeah. and get a little more meat and a little more. Uh, and I and I could use <laughs> all the help we were, I can we get. We were watching that video, uh, Gergo. Gergo Borla. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. his pinky off. It's like, and he still had a lot of power. He still had way more power than if I had if I playing bats. Oh, um, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, so so for me, I'll, I'll use uh, the traditional grip. And when I started to get up in tempos on this particular um, rudiment or this particular sticking, I'll utilize my fingers as the drop catch technique right. okay. that you've seen many greats do. Um, so that when it gets so fast that I'm not, I'm, I'm not doing that, yeah. but I'm less motion I have to do, and so I can go faster. Than, you know what I mean? Yeah. And not then you start to see the tendons and stuff pop out of your That's arms. Right. So it just, it's just a way for me to relax, and that takes time to develop too. The whole drop thing, but. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much essentially what we'll be working on um, in a nutshell, man. Um, and you know, you utilize it around the kit for fills, for solos. It doesn't have to be really quick. It can be just boom. It can be real sim simple as that. Match grip, you know, with the butt end of the stick. Yeah. Real big and powerful. Nice. Go around the kit. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's it's a classic. Just classic sticking, man, in across all genres of music. Very all cool. applicable lick, yeah. So for this PDF, we've got on our A sides, we're playing just that triplet pattern, just eighth note triplets, that one and uh, two mm -hmm. and uh, three and uh, four. And uh, on the B side, we've got what you were explaining earlier, where we're playing at a sixteenth. Right. It's going over the bar line. And on your PDF, I think we've notated it just as three beats, just so you can see it repeat. Right. Otherwise, it would take how many bars? Well, well, yeah. I mean, I, well, I mean, on that B, you can think of it as again a three-four. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that so that it's not so confusing. It's just one E and a two E and a three E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a one. And just think of it like that versus. How many bars would it take to get back on one? It would three, take three right? bars. Yeah. So, so you just think of the bar itself as a three-four bar, right. and 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 you should be fine. That's great. And then the sextuplets are obviously the twice as fast version mm -hmm. as the eighth note triplets. Right. We're just fitting twice as many in. So right, left, left, right, left, left. Right. Per quarter note. Right. So you definitely want to bring that tempo down at yeah. first, and 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 focus on the evenness, and focus on not tensing up, right. especially when you're doing match grip. The tendency is like to, for you know again to 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 like grip the stick or to start crushing what we would say in drumline crushing the diddles because these right. are diddles that you're playing with yeah. the left hand so you want to make sure that they are open and not you know you want to make sure they're yeah. open and even uh, across um, the the bar line so um, and then in the exercise that we'll do. We utilize all three of them, and this is over uh, two bars, but it's cleverly done by Jake here, um, where you utilize three of the eighth note triplets, you'll utilize uh, uh, three of the sixteenth pattern, so three of A, three of B, and two of C. So if when I'm referencing are the exercises that we'll be doing a triplet, uh, eighth notes, 16th triplets and then the six tuplets uh, or when I say 16 triplets I mean straight up 16th notes but with the sticking of right left left right left left right left left uh, and so and so we'll be um, demonstrating um, how to combine all three of them together real quickly I'll just kind of show you what that would sound like so you have now and I'll try to I'll try to I'll try to talk really loud as I go through these I'll say a B, C. Perfect. All right. So let me demonstrate A for you right quick. B. One, two, three, uh, one, two. This is this becomes my three, four. One, two, three. One E and a two E and a three E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a one. Now on to the third, the, the letter C. 
So, exercise one at the very bottom, same hi-hat tempo, same everything, and we'll, uh, and I'll call them out A, B, C. One, two, three, four. A. So that's kind of how the exercise will go. I think I may have blurt, flubbed on, on one of those, but, but that's essentially how the exercise will go. You'll switch from one to the other, uh, and the idea is to know when you go from triplets to 16th notes to sextuplets, um, to, to not rush the 16th notes and to not drag the sextuplets. Yes. So it's, it's a two-fold exercise, both with um, dealing with note values and with sticking um, so in evenness. All right, guys, so that's it for this lesson. We're so excited to have Marcus play us out on this one. We'll also be working on it at 60 beats per minute and 90 beats per minute for each example. And he's going to play us out. I'm excited to practice along, and I'm excited to see you guys grow and feel challenged from this. If you guys have any questions, please hit us up below in the comment box, and we'll get back to you as quickly as we can. Marcus, do you want to play us out, man? Sure.